PSA graded Pokemon cards. Let's go. Got a catch of all Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Placecape Games video. Oh my goodness, we've got some more PSA graded returns in this in this lovely box. Um, I can't wait to show you these. There's some amazing cards in here. Oh my goodness, my glasses are flying off. I'm that excited. It's crazy. Please remember um, to leave a comment below, like the video if you enjoy it. Um, yep, yeah, so these are once again cards I graded directly myself with PSA. And I'm looking at these for the first time. I do know the grades and I've seen some of the images, but uh, we're going to be looking at these for the first time. And uh, yeah, we're going to leave that, that one for the end because that is probably the big one. That is like probably going to be the thumbnail. Uh, leave that one for the end. Put the box away over there, and we'll you know we'll start checking out some of these awesome cards. I'll put you over here just so you can see them. So first of all, we've got the Staff Flare um, Jolteon. So this this Jolteon here, as you can see, has got the Staff stamp from the Regional Championships, and this um, came out as a Gem Mint 10. So this Jolteon is exclusive. To, we can get it to focus. Maybe move you away there. There we go. There we go. This Jolteon is exclusive to um, people who were judging at the regional championships um, in the tournaments in 2012. So um, it's absolutely beautiful. So one for Jolteon collectors. It just like the card we're going to show you at the end. In fact, I'm going to show you both of them now because I don't know why they're in a different order. So um, maybe maybe they got maybe it got like moved around. I don't know. And we got here the Flareon. So both the Jolteon and the Flareon are staff exclusive stamps. If you can see here. Uh, we got the staff stamp there for the for the for the Flareon, and these both have the cross thatch reverse foils. So normally these aren't, you know, the regular versions of these, the non-staff version of these aren't too crazy. But turns out um, there's quite a few of the Jolteons. I think there's like, almost, like over ten of these as PSA ten and graded as a ten. But the Flareon is probably one of the rarest Flareon cards in the world. I had no idea when I got my returns that it was one of the rarest Flareon cards in the world. But um, there are currently only three. Three of these graded as a PSA 10. I could not believe it when I saw the pop report. Um, absolutely astonished. It must just be hard to grade or more people were grading the Jolteon because Jolteon was more popular. I have no idea. But um, yeah, there's only three of these in the world. This makes it like rarer than the Gold Star PSA 10 Flareon in terms of like the pop report. Obviously, um, there's probably more of these and because this is an English card, it's probably easier to get hold of than the you know, the Gold Star Japanese Flareon and like the first edition Jungle. There's over a hundred copies of the first edition um, Jungle Flareon, um, you know, graded as a PSA 10. So um, yeah, very happy to get both of these back as a PSA 10. If you are interested in any of the cards you see in this video, please click the link below, head to my eBay store. The most most of them will be up for sale there, and um, if you're interested in a 10% discount, um, you can message me directly on Facebook, Instagram, um, Instagram, yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, our Discord server, our lovely Discord server, and we can do a deal. Um, but yeah, the absolutely beautiful set of two, um, and we also have the European staff exclusive, um, f uh, what's I'm gonna call it? The, the European staff exclusive one. We'll put you guys down there because these are like the stars of the show. We'll put you guys down there. And um, we've got that one on our eBay store as well, but that only got an eight. But uh, yeah, so those are like the, the stars of the show. I was hoping to save that for the end, but the Jolteon came out first. That's fine. We're going to move quickly on. We've got a beautiful Dark Gyarados PSA 8 first edition. You can get, once again, you can, you know, it's a first edition because you've got the first edition stamp there from the Team Rocket. So all the way back in 2000 now. That's, you know, that's. That's quite a while. That's quite a while ago that this this card came out. So yeah, very happy for it to get an eight. Um, it must just be due to like the corners. Yeah, you can see like if you see in the corner, you got some like white white dots on the corners there, and there might be some like hollow scratches and stuff. Um, these cases also smudge very easily. I always also always ship cards in protective um, sleeves to stop them getting like smudged and dirtied up and scratched. So um, yeah, you can probably there's actually quite a few hollow scratches on there. I don't know if you can pick it up on here, but um, probably not going to be able to pick it up on here, but there are actually some hollow scratches. Probably why it's got an A, but absolutely beautiful example of the Dark Gyarados card. Very happy to to get that one back. Um, I'll put you guys. I don't know where everything's going. We'll put you guys over there. We'll start the stack up. These are the these are the main two. Can they go over here? Um, yeah, they'll 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 stay over here. That's fine. They'll stay over here out of the way. But um, yeah, next up we got the PSA 10 Evolving Skies um, Special Art Rayquaza. Just look at that artwork. 
of Rayquaza. You got Zinnia there, you got a little Wizma as well. Beautiful card, very popular. Well, amongst the many reasons why people love Evolving Skies very much. And yeah, another Gem Mint 10. So this is going to be a, like a reoccurring theme for most of the modern cards. <laughs> Mostly everything I think is a Gem Mint 10 from like the modern cards. But um, yeah, I would like to show you the background. But again, the cases get smudged. These will be wiped clean. Um, do I have like a fabric cleaning thingy here? I don't know. Uh, most of these things will be wiped clean, obviously. I'll try not to smudge them when I'm revealing them. But yeah, beautiful Gem Mint 10 um, Rayquaza there. What do we have next? We, re we might as well don't even need to reveal because they're all going to be Gem Mint 10s. But um, for the modern cards, beautiful Celebrations Mew. Um, surprisingly, not that expensive as a PSA 10. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it costs £50, pounds, £50, £60 pounds to buy the card, like, ungraded. But you can get these for around £100, uh, £200, pounds, like $250 as a Gem Mint 10. Probably less in the United States because, like, PSA cards are cheaper there because less more people are, st are still, like, grading directly with PSA um, in the United States for especially, like, newer cards. So, like, obviously the backlog, most of the stuff's from, um, <laughs> what's wrong with this camera? Go on, go on, webcam, go on. Come on, come on. <laughs> anyway, you know what the view looks like. There we go. It just seems to be like sometimes it struggles. So, so yeah, if, if you're watching Courtney, this is not the one that um, we pulled when we were opening packs. This is the one that I got ages before that. So we're still we're waiting to grade your the one that um, you set off. But yeah, beautiful Mew from Celebrations. Next up, we got the gold secret rare Pikachu promo from the um, from the Celebrations Elite Trader Box. So this one, unfortunately, is one of the few colors I got on nine. My guess on this one potentially is um, maybe the corners, the edges. Normally, like pro English promos, sometimes like struggle to get like really good like um, corners and stuff. So this one is actually going to stay in my personal collection. Not everything gets um, put on eBay. This one's going to stay in my personal collection because it isn't worth that much as a nine just yet. And it's just you know, I just obviously you know that I collect Pikachu, so this one is definitely going to stay in my um, stay in my personal collection. Beautiful. Beautiful car. We'll put you over here just to rem put you over here just to remind me that you're you're staying with me. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> the chunky boy, the chunky boy. So I've got the Japanese version of this as a PSA 10. So this one won't be going in my collection because I don't think I need both the English and the Japanese one. But um, yeah, a lot. Sometimes a lot of these have like centering issues. Um, it might be easy for these to get like scratched and dirtied up. So really, really happy to um, get the PSA 10 of the. Um, I do. I do apologize. I, I wish I knew like a, the best way to deal with my webcams and stuff. I need to get like a proper like filming camera, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, PSA 10 of the beautiful Gem Mints um, Vivid Voltage Pikachu V Max Secret Rare Classic staple of the Vivid Voltage set, obviously. Um, beautiful. We're going to get some fire overpriced fire lizards now. We've got some Charizards coming out of the woodworks. Got a nice PSA 9. Surprisingly, again, not actually that expensive. Like 150 pounds. Like two hundred dollars as a um, as a PSA as a PSA nine. Getting the tens very difficult. These get a lot of scratches on the hollow. Um, centering on this one's perfect. Like it must just be like corners and scratches that like set back most of these. Getting a ten on these is very difficult. I think it's easier to actually get a ten on the reverse hollows, which you wouldn't think normally is the case. But um, yeah, PSA nine of the evolutions Charizard, or the OG artwork. And that's going to be another recurring theme here. Um, a beautiful 10 on the Celebrations Charizard. Still a lot of people need to get this one to finish their collection um, for the Celebrations like folder set and stuff. Um, it's not going down. It's I think it's still like £80, $100 in the UK. I haven't checked recently, but um, yeah, again, like OG artwork. You got the original o artwork there with the new foil pattern for Celebrations with the Celebrations stamp as well from 2021. Everyone knows the Celebrations Charizard. But my personal favourite of those three is not the... Wait, these are all in the wrong order. I swear down, these are these got moved around at some point. Yeah, okay, these I don't think these are in the right order. We'll get back to we'll get back to the Charizards later. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Right. Here we go. <laughs> That's strange, because normally when you get a box from PSA, normally they come back in the same order. So that's a bit disconcerting. I need to check my order. I don't think they're in the same order, but um yes, so here we got the this is my favourite of the reprint Charizard artworks recently, the Japanese. 25th anniversary like foil one. Um, I just love the foil pattern on this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It just pops out. Um, you know the image sort of stands alone a bit better um, than that it does on the on the English one. I find and 
And obviously, the stamps are a lot more classier, I think. Even though I love Pikachu, like, having the 25th anniversary stamp, like, it's just a bit more subtle. It's not kind of as in your face as the Pikachu, so... Yeah, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to keep grading these. Eventually, one will come back and nine. I'll keep it in my personal collection, but I don't think I can justify keeping um, the Charizards at the moment. But there's um, Uno Dos Tres of the most recent, um, you know, base set artwork Charizard prints. I mean, I guess this is technically the Japanese version of this one, but you know what I mean. Beautiful Charizards. Get, go, go to eBay, grab your Charizards. Grab them whilst they're hot, right. Okay, we need to make sure things are in order. Speaking of Charizards, the Gem Mint 10 Shining Fates. Charizard VMAX Shiny form. So, it doesn't need much introduction. Um, not that expensive. Um, I guess it, there were a lot of people open Shining Fates, and there was a lot of reprints for Shining Fates. But, like, yeah, beautiful card. Classic Shiny Charizard VMAX style. And, like, people are actually playing Charizard VMAX as a deck now with Arcus V-Star. So, imagine rocking up to a tournament with two of these in your deck. In your deck. <laughs> People think you might have like issues or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. But I'm sure there's someone out there that actually have played this in their Charizard deck somewhere. Some some mad person. <laughs> so here's the beautiful Gengar V Max. So we've actually still got another one of these on our eBay store. I just love this one so much. We just graded um, more. So this is the Japanese obviously exclusive one. Um exclusive. It's not exclusive to Japan, but the release is different to the English one. So in English, we got this obviously in our Viv in our Fusion Strike English set, um, the alternate art Gengar. But it's in Japan, this was a part of a theme deck. You got like a one in ten, one in fifteen chance to open a Gengar V Max theme deck, and it was actually inside the theme deck randomly, which is such a cool idea. Um, I wish they kind of made theme decks a bit more exciting or desirable in the UK personally, but. Yeah, beautiful artwork. This this not this exact copy won't be on eBay, but the one that we had graded from the last video is, is still there. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Um, speaking of Snorlax. Well, well, we didn't speak of Snorlax, but yeah, let's, let's speak of Snorlax. we got the beautiful Eevee Snorlax. Snorlax featuring a teeny tiny little Eevee sleeping next to Snorlax. So this was, this was done by Craig Turvey. I think he won like a competition and he had to submit his design and this list was picked for the... Like, this is one of the earliest, like... Um, examples of people like doing a competition in English to get like their card printed which is really cool and uh, this was given out at some um, Pokemon leagues in 2002 so yeah, PSA 9 Snorlax I thought this one was pretty flawless um, it must just be corners and stuff but yeah beautiful card beautiful artwork definitely one if you're a Snorlax collector you need this in your collection um, oh my goodness it's just it's just all the beautiful cards today <laughs> PSA 9, Shining Mew Cora Cora, with a featuring a teeny bonus little swirl in the beautiful hollow swirl in the corner. Iconic card, probably like the most iconic Mew card, I want to say. I mean, Ancient Mew, I guess, for our English collectors is, is big, but, um, you know, I OG fans and stuff. But in terms of just like the Japanese promos and stuff, like, imagine getting a, this in your magazine. Imagine getting a magazine in 2001 in Japan and this thing just, just like, just waits for you inside the magazine. You would be so happy, wouldn't you? Beautiful card, very popular. Um, Shining Mew Cora Corio. There we go. There we go. If we don't move. If we don't move around too much, it actually lets us focus on the card. Beautiful PSC nine. Not sure why it got the nine, but again, like the, most of this is just smudging marks from from like the condensation inside the box. All of these will be wiped down and cleaned. Um, yeah, and you can also go to the eBay store and they actually have high quality scans. So when you send cards directly to um, PSA. Oh, beautiful. When you send cards directly to PSA, you, they actually give you high quality scans um, that you can then use if you, for your eBay listens if you do eBay or to send to friends or show, show off people your cards before they return. And if you want to find out how to grade your cards directly with PSA yourself, as I've done for this submission and which I'll be doing for the new $30 tier when that reopens this Thursday, please click the link below, head to my Patreon and check out the PSA, how to grade your cards with PSA video. Um, yeah, so we've got the beautiful Eevee. There's so much Eevee going on here. Eevee Heroes, Eevee Set, Espeon. Like, so much Eevee. Um, this was that beautiful box. I wish I kept wish I kept that box sealed, because I think the box sealed is probably worth more than this is graded as a 10 at the moment. I haven't checked the price recently. Maybe I can still pick one up. I don't know. But, yeah, the iconic... Um, it's a bit like the Gengar. Like, in, in English, again, we got this one and the Gengar um, VMAX Special Art um, in Fusion Strike. Um, but then these these had different releases in Japan. Like shout out to Team Wingold. There's like a bonus little like some bonus Wingolds in here as well. The Brighton lads. Um, yeah, beautiful card. Um, 
the special set. Again, smudges will be cleaned down, but you can go on eBay and look at the high quality scans if you want to. Oh, more Eevee Heroes, like theme stuff. Beautiful PSA um, 10, Evolving Skies, Glaceon. So I'm waiting to get a PSA 9 of this so I can keep it, keep it in the personal collection. So the 10s will be continue to be sold. But um, again, just beautiful, beautiful artwork. Let's see if we can get a focus on this. There we go. So you can just see there, little Pichu uh, in the water. You've got Marrow, you've got Azumarill. I think that's like a little Pancham there as well. It's a tiny little Eevee by Glaceon's foot. Beautiful card, very, like, Evolving Skies is just insanely good um, in terms of the arts. PSA 10, obviously, beautiful card, um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Please go click link below and head to my eBay store or, and, you know, message me directly if you're interested in any. So probably the third most um, valuable card from the, from the submission is this beautiful Battle Fester Pikachu that's, uh, once again, my webcam is not loving at the moment, so let's let's try and get it to, like... I think it's just like a case of letting it just kind of settle on it, like, like something like that. I don't know. But yeah, Battle Festa featuring Solgaleo and Lunala 2017, given out to participants, I believe, at the 2017 Battle Festa tournament in Japan. Um, Gem Mint 10, very popular, unique artwork. Again, exclusive artwork. Most of my favorite cards are the ones that have exclusive artwork. Um, and Battle Festa is another great example of that. Uh, right, down to the last few. <laughs> Another beautiful Mew card to go with our Koro Koro Mew. This is the Fusion Strike. PSA 10 Secret Rare Mew from, um, from Fusion Strike. Probably the most recent cards um, on this, on this, you know, from this submission. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Mew. Um, just that, love that, love that sort of bubble background that you got sort of popping out there with... So we can get it to focus. There we go. Look at that. Look at those bubbles like in the background. It kind of reminds me of, you know, Pokemon Snap when Mew's in the bubble and you kind of like disrupt its shield before you can take photos of it. Beautiful card. Secret Rare, Gem Mint, Gem Mint 10. Um, again, another beautiful card for Mew collectors. Great condition. Love that. Just, just clean rainbow. Rainbow's got so much better in the Sword and Shield era. And then last but not least, these two need no introduction. The stamp promos. Um, these are sold separately, but they are sequential, so if you're interested in both of them, please let me know. You can see they're in the top corners, um, 835 and 8, um, sorry, 853 and 854, so sequential grades on these. Um, so beautiful cards, again, only given out in Japan to people who bought the, 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 the Japan Mail, like, stamp box thing. And, um, yeah, just featuring exclusive artwork um goose the, the you know the goose under the moon and the beauty looking back based on like old japanese artworks beautiful cards very iconic and they, in like five years from now they're going to be up there with like the scream promos mario and luigi pikachu just beautiful beautiful you know beautiful modern japanese cards but yeah just an absolutely stacked submission please remember to click link below if you're interested in any of these cards message me directly on ebay on not ebay on facebook uh twitter and Instagram if you want to purchase these correctly, but it's all about these these staff PSA 10 exclusive promos. Um, very few of these were given out um, to staff members, and um, in case in the in case of the Flareon, only three of them are graded as a as a PSA 10. So very happy with these cards and the submission as a whole. That's 20 amazing cards. The only disappointment one was that gold Pikachu, but then I get to put it in my collection. So happy days. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the of these returns. Which is your favourite card? And please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Beautiful. Gotta catch them all. Thank you to these lovely people. They get exclusive market updates, Japanese buying guide videos, how to grade your cards directly with PSA and all sorts. Please click the link below and check out the PlayScape Games Patreon and I'll see you very soon Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all.